Hey y'all, it's your girl Viva La Morena and we're back with another video. Yes, yes, yes. Happy Thirsty Thursday. Happy Thirsty Thursday. Cheers. This is a pineapple truly. Cheers. Yes. For Thirsty Thursday. Happy Thursday night. I hope you guys find yourselves well. I myself have been doing really well. I had quite the busy day. And then I went to visit my sister today and we spent some time together and it was just a great day. I love it. I've been enjoying my summer. Um, it's been pretty hot. It's been pretty hot. Like, you know, it's been raining for a few days, but today was pretty hot. But anyways, today's video is brought to you by empties i got some empties for y'all yes i got a big bag of empties so this might be a long video so if you're not ready for a long video i'm sorry but the video ain't for you so feel free to stay or free feel free to go now before i do start i just want to remind you guys your girl is on a road to a thousand subscribers yes once i get to a thousand subscribers what am i gonna do i'm gonna give away this lovely Kayali perfume, Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar number 42. Yes. Once I get to those 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing this free giveaway. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's jump in. First and foremost, I fin we finished a Q-tips. You know, Q-tips, who, who doesn't know what these are? You know, these are a necessity. Yes. I know doctors say not to clean your ears with Q-tips, but... I can't help myself. I have to clean my ears. I just have to. And I also have to clean my kids' ears because ugh, who wants to be walking around with tons of earwax in their ears? Not I. Oh, this product. I absolutely enjoyed this product. And I have to say thank you to at Simply Shaughnessy. Yes. I remember when she hauled this one last year. This is the Olay. Well, back in my day, it used to be called Oil of Olay. Now it's called Olay. So this is the Fresh Outlast. Um, and the scent on this one is Strawberry and Mint. Y'all, this product was absolutely amazing. It smelled so, so good. Don't let the name fool you. Strawberry and mint, don't let the name fool you. Fool you. There's a little bit of a hint of mint in there. But the strawberry, it's like a fresh. When you bite into a fresh strawberry, this is what I smell. Mm. I enjoyed every single moment of this product in the shower. Thank you at Simply Shaughnessy. When I saw that she hauled this one um last year i think it was yeah it was last year i saw i saw her video when she hauled this one i said to myself i'm gonna go find this and i found it at big lots for well the price faded but i think it was like six dollars or maybe seven at big lots so worth it so this is the olay strawberry and mint absolutely delightful yes we just finished the golden citrus and vanilla. Yes, this is like the perfect transition um, from summer to fall. Um, and I remember Boots and Mascara. Hey, Boo. She's the one that commented that on my um, community post when I posted this hand soap um, that I was using in my kitchen, which I had... I actually had changed this hand soap about a week ago, um, but I made my post a little bit late. But y'all, this soap was absolutely amazing. It smells so good. It's perfect. It's vanilla perfection with citrus. Like my girl Boots and Mascara said, it is the perfect transition from summer to fall. This is the perfect the perfect soap to start in the beginning of autumn fall late august it is amazing this soap needs to come back yes 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 golden citrus and vanilla so good and you guys know i'm a vanilla girl all the way 
Yes, this is another product I loved. Loved. This is the Pineapple Tree Hut Body Scrub. Y'all, if you want to smell like the bite of a juicy pineapple, this is the one for you. However, I have to say, it is, in the beginning, it felt a little potent in the shower, but then it was good. It was good. I was loving it. I was loving it. This scrub was doing me right in the shower, and it smells so good. Mm, it smells so good. It's really strong. I mean, if you're not into strong fruit, strong, juicy, bite into fruit, pineapple, this ain't for you, boo. This is good 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 will i purchase this again absolutely not right now because i don't need it right now but possibly next year next summer i would probably purchase this again all right we finished up uh johnson and johnson well now it's called johnson's i thought it was johnson and johnson's i don't know i, <laughs> I didn't know that i don't really buy their products as much as i used to back in the day I'm more of a, a vino girl for my for my kids, but I like to use um, the baby oil for some of their little bubble baths, and I also like to use baby oil. Like if I use waterproof mascara, baby oil takes it off right away. So yeah, we all know. Yes, if you know, you know. Now this product, y'all. This is a cleaning product. It is called LA's Totally Awesome. It's actually a yellow liquid. When I tell you this thing gets off stains, all you have to do is spray. Let's say if you see a stain on your counter. You know how sometimes you clean your counter and there's a stain that just won't go? Um and you feel like the um, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser is not really picking it up, this is the next option. When I tell you, you do two to three sprays on the surface of where the stain is. You let it sit for about five to 10 minutes. After that time frame, you wipe it, the stain is completely gone. Y'all, when I tell you this works, this works it also works on clothes yes if you have a stain on your clothes and you feel like there are other products like shout and um what's the other one oxyclean is not picking it up get this you can get this for cheap at the dollar store either family dollar or the dollar zone or the dollar tree well it's not called the dollar tree no more <laughs> we all know that it's not the dollar tree no more it, it, it's it's just <laughs> the 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 tree store <laughs> let's just say that because nothing is just a dollar anymore but you can get this for cheap yes and it does the work absolutely yes another thing oh this is my throwback my throwback of the day throwback th throwback thursday y'all those who know you know you know this little bottle you know this little bottle Mm hmm this is a throwback <sighs> three flowers three flowers if you know you know this is like a a little vaseline if you want to do braids you know so i use it on my daughter to do braids on her and it keeps it nice and shiny and glowy yes 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 if you know you know if you know you know you can also get this really cheap at walmart yes yes this is another product i use a lot on me and my children so this is uzzy this is a detangling deep conditioner um with avocado oil i actually got this one at family dollar pretty cheap and it smells so good mm, it smells so good and it does our curls right absolutely dove sensitive skin we all know i'm a big fan um ooh, this was a body wash that i did not want to finish y'all and it's the aromatherapy lavender and vanilla this is good this is good this is good will i buy this again possibly i would buy this again do i need it right now not right now i think i'm all set but y'all when i tell you that i enjoyed every moment of this scent especially at nighttime i used it more at nighttime 
lavender of van and vanilla relaxes me so much i absolutely love the lavender and vanilla from bath and body works aromatherapy line it is so so good and so relaxing it works it works it does make me fall asleep y'all and if you have the essential oil mist spray that on your sheets you will fall asleep when i tell you you will knock out within minutes you will want knock out yes clean slate this is a shower gel that my man used mm, so good so good i remember i was watching um um shop shopping and more with kimberly and santos he was saying how much he liked this scent and because of him i actually bought this scent for my boyfriend and my son santos was saying how much he liked this scent so because of him i bought this for my boyfriend and he enjoyed it this is this was a very good scent really good scent i would say it, it was a little on the aquatic side which is perfect for summer but the sandalwood in this yes the sandalwood oh it was so good so it says marine citrus blue sage and sandalwood perfection 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 yes oh this was a product that i thought i had finished <laughs> and i didn't so when i when i saw it in the in my in my closet i was like hold up this is still here and it's the coco magic shampoo I had finished the conditioner, I think it was like a month or two ago. Um, and I remember, what in the world? I think a little bit of water came out. Um, I remember I had mentioned that I did enjoy this scent, but by the third or fourth wash, I was kind of tired of it. So I kind of stopped using the shampoo, but I did finish the conditioner because for some reason, I always finish the conditioner before the shampoo. I don't know. I. I I guess I use too much conditioner. <laughs> but um the Coco Magic shampoo, I bought this at Marshalls for $8.99. It's okay. I mean it does have a good scent, but I feel like it I feel like towards the end it was just smelling a little off because again, I don't know if you guys remember, but I have mentioned in the past how the smell of coconut i do love but it but when it's a coconut that's like synthetic it, for some reason it always gives me an off smell so that was actually the second time i purchased that product along with the conditioner will i purchase it a third time for next summer probably not just because I feel like this second time around, I didn't enjoy it as much as the first time. Just saying. But it is a nice product. And you could get it at a decent price at Marshalls. All right. Nail polish remover. This one's the one from Family Dollar. Pretty cheap. Another soap that I enjoyed. Yes, yes, yes. Beach Bliss. Yes, this was good. Which, by the way, I am totally out of summer soap. I'm totally out of summer soap. As you guys saw, I started using some of my fall soaps. And I actually took out one of the Bridgerton ones, the Diamond of the Season in the gel form that is now in my kitchen. But this Beach Bliss was doing me right. Yes, it was. Mm, it smells so good. It smells so good. This has like a coconut... Um, ocean breezes water flowers and creamy musk is that musk in it that makes it good but i don't know for some reason it does give me a little bit of a coconut scent just a, a slight little it's good though it's good um y'all this is gonna be funny but i had this a very very old shower gel that for some reason every time i had a headache this shower gel really helped me <laughs> It is so old. It was probably one of the oldest shower gels that I had in my collection. And it's finally done. Well, there's still a little tiny bit left, but I think it, it just has to go. This one is from the year, I believe 2019. Yeah, I think this is 2019 or 2020. I think it's 2020. Um, This is Coconut Mint Drop. Yes, this scent is so good, y'all. 
Now this is a coconut done right. And mixed with mint, so good, so good. Now this was um, the year 2020 and the price here is 1350. <laughs> 1350 for a shower job? Yeah, sure. So um, the set notes were white coconut, iced peppermint, peppermint and winter musk this is like from the christmas collection from that year but y'all when i tell you it is so good i buy this scent coconut mint drop and the hand foaming soap also and i absolutely love it i don't think i have it though no i had used up the the hand soap last year but if the hand soap comes back y'all your girl will be copping it and um if this body care comes back I would definitely probably get a fragrance mist on this one because this body care is very, very good. Yes, so that was coconut mint drop, yes. Another product I love, y'all, I absolutely love is Lysol All Purpose Cleaner. I attack my kitchen with this every single night. It just cleans and keeps it fresh. I just love, love having a clean kitchen. I cannot go to bed without my kitchen being clean. No, 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 I just can't. So this right here helps my kitchen stay fresh. Right now I have, I don't know if you guys seen in my community post, but I shared with you guys that I now have the summer scent. Yes, because we're still in summer. Summer is still in full effect, y'all. Just a reminder. Um, I have the Lysol Mango and Hibiscus, and my it's an orange um, scent. It's an orange bottle. It smells so good, y'all. It smells like a tropical paradise. Yes, so, so good. And one of my subscribers had mentioned that they also came out with a coconut one, but I haven't found that one, so I don't know. Maybe if I go in a couple of weeks um, to Walmart, because I have to do a Walmart run before I start work, I'll try to find it. But I have not seen the coconut one. Okay. Another one, another product that does my curls right is Uzzy. Um, it's Instant Freeze Sculpting Gel. Yes, yes, yes. This is the number four, which is like the strongest one. So it holds your curls right. I love this product. Love it. It smells so good. It smells so, so good. Yes. It's like clean, 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 clean hair, fresh air. Yes. All right. We have another aromatherapy. So this is the Stress Relief um, Eucalyptus and Spearmint body lotion this a little bit left i don't know if you guys can see that i'll probably finish this by tomorrow night um i know it's not completely empty but sometimes if i see a product that's almost gone like this one is like literally almost gone i don't know if you guys can see that i'm probably gonna finish this tomorrow night i like to share it so this product is that og scent from bath and body works classic classic bath and body works aromatherapy the eucalyptus and spearmint stress relief i believe it works i love it especially for nighttime like when you had a long day of you know working or just having a busy day you take yourself a nice relaxing shower and then you use the body the body lotion y'all you feel your body your body so relaxed i love it love it um, will I purchase this product again? Yeah, sure, why not? I would definitely purchase. So we're gonna put it over here because it's not done yet. All right, next product, yes. Froze all day. This was a good, good soap. Mm, so, so good. It reminded me of um, Juicy Strawberries also. So this is Frozen Rosé, Fresh Berries, and a Lemon Twist. Yeah, you can get that lemon twist. Mm, it's so good. It's This soap was good. This was part of the new summer collection. Yes, it was good and it was doing me right. Yes, yes, yes. Um, another product that I had that I'm so sad to go away was the Watermelon Lemonade Antibacterial um, more Hand Sanitizer with 
moisturizing lotion i believe they no longer sell this product now they have it in the mini pocket bags i don't know why bring this product back bring the sanitizers the full-size sanitizers moisturizing back because your girl was loving this yes i don't know why they they discontinue this type of pack hey, y'all i'm sorry about that my phone was acting up again but like i was saying this product needs to come back bring back the full size sanitizer moisturizing because i love these type of products yes 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 these are the type of products that you can actually leave like if you work in an office or even in your car you can leave it and i think it works wonders yes another sanitizer that was doing me right was the Touchland watermelon um wild watermelon scent the Touchland? the only thing about there's only a little tiny bit left but it's really a little bit left the only thing about these sanitizers is that they're a little on the pricey side yes i actually got this one on sale i think it was eight dollars at ulta or sephora it might have been sephora but it was eight dollars that i got it for um, they were like running a sale and I still think that was a little pricey for a one ounce sanitizer. No. Will I purchase it again? Probably not. Unless they lower the price, I'll probably get it. But for $8, that's a stretch. However, it does smell like a juicy watermelon. Yes. I finished up the Vacation Vibes Room Spray. So this is the room spray that first... Um, was the first room spray that turned out to be 75% off. I'm not sure why they took it off the shelves that fast, but I remember it launching like launching like a week or two before it going to 75% off, which I thought it was strange, but I did enjoy this room spray vacation vibes. Yes. This one was the one that had that um pineapple scent yes and it was really good speaking about pineapple i enjoy this soap the pina colada swirl yes this soap was doing me right and usually um i gravitate more towards the hand foaming soaps but if i see a gel soap that calls my attention your girl cops it yes this one was good um summer collection of 2024 i thought it was great awesome soap they should bring it back next year yes my kids finished a johnson's curl defining so this i use it for their hair because it's for curly hair um so it's like a leave-in conditioner yes really good product by the way um another thing we finished was the johnson's baby powder um you know use baby's powder every now and then um my grandma taught me that if you're eating something greasy and you get it on your clothes you use powder like put powder on it and then wash it right away and the grease comes off quickly and let me tell you y'all this phone is just not letting me record today like i was saying i have another dove sensitive skin oh sorry um we used uh this was actually the last summer soap that we used I got no more summer soap for the rest of the year. So this is whipped coconut milkshake. I do like the candle. Like I give the candle maybe an 8 out of 10. But the hand soap was a different story. I barely smelt the scent on the hand soap. So I don't think I would purchase this hand soap again. I'm sorry. I do love the packaging though. It's a beautiful packaging. I thought it was cute that's what called my attention i did purchase it during sas when it went 75 percent off okay so this is a colgate four pack um toothbrushes my kids finished the avino baby wash and shampoo it is the only product i buy from my kids my daughter look how cute hello kitty i had bought her this at marshall's for two dollars y'all two dollars it was in clearance all the hello kitty stuff was in clearance and this was actually a sheet mask that she used a couple times they brought two of them um i think she only used one she still has the second one upstairs um venus sensitive sensitive sensible razors that i use myself i love this product so much 
I don't know if it's ever gonna come back, but it's the CBD Lavender Woods Body Balm. Y'all, when I tell you, completely out, complete, when I tell you this product relaxes, there's a fly down here just flying around. When I, this is from the wellness collection from 2022, y'all. When I tell you this product works, it works. This CBD, whatever it is, it helped relax my muscles. This thing works almost like a icy hot. Yes, I, that's what I would compare it to. Because once you put it on, it has like a cooling effect. And it just relaxes those tense muscles just for you to sleep well at night. I'm telling you, I would purchase this again. I remember I purchased this during during SAS 2022. I regret not getting backups of this product. I really want this product to come back. It did wonders to my body. Yes, yes, yes. All right. This is a rice water um, for from Miel. Um, moisturizing milk for my hair great product smells so good amazing product i love it i even use it on my daughter it does our curls right yes another soap that my kids enjoyed was the sweet strawberry scoop so good i'm not too crazy about the body care but the hand soap was lovely yes um my daughter also used a hello kitty i bought her this in clarence soup this is a hello kitty plush spa headband that you can put on if you're doing a facial it is the cutest thing ever yes i used a used up a butterfly room spray so good mm, so good butterfly is such a beautiful scent yes um star fruit sangria this is actually the candle i have in my kitchen right now and can i just tell you the smell of it is a little reminiscent of sweet red mango to me i don't know i'm just saying but i am enjoying that candle right now and we did enjoy the soap yes um i used one pocket bat and it's sweet pea it i didn't use it my my daughter finished the sweet pea pocket bag sweet pea is a classic yes we all know beautiful floral springy scent sweet pea that you can wear all year round because it's such a light and floral scent it's not loud it's not like too busy it's just light sweet and happy that's what i would call um sweepy such a pretty classic bath and body works yes then i also use a couple samples from sephora so this is isle of paradise body can i just say this moisturizer this is the product that came in this this little body moisturizer did me right this little 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 bot this little um packaging here it it did do it really good for me it lasted me about three days very moisturizing but this little package goes a long way will i buy the full the full packaging the full size packaging Possibly, but I'm going to wait on a good Sephora sale because I thought this moisturizer was amazing and it smelled so, so good. I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Okay. I also used the samples on the body polish. Um, I'll show you guys. These were the body polish. I used these samples i thought the body polish was okay i enjoyed more the more the moisturizing um the moisturizing lotion sorry guys um this is a bad girl um mascara by benefit also from sephora um i used up some wallflowers so tahiti island dream yes um, laundry day which is my favorite three-wick candle and I also love it in a wallflower yes I wanted to use up the coconut pina colada I wasn't too crazy about this three-wick candle the wallflower was okay for me I would give the wallflower maybe a 9 out of 10 it was okay I used two of those the coconut pina colada 
I don't think I would purchase this wallflower if it comes out again next year, neither the candle. Um, it just didn't really blow me away. The sweet kiwi and star fruit, very juicy, very fruity. I did enjoy this um, wallflower. Another thing I enjoyed was this milky leave-in conditioner by Sol de Janeiro. Yes, yes, yes. Very good sample. Will I buy the full size? Probably. Yes, because it, it did my hair right. Yes. Um, I finished up this lifter gloss from Maybelline. Yes, I thought it was good. But then towards the end, it was kind of smelling like paint for me. So it kind of had to go. Yeah. And then... Last but not least, I used this Valentino Donna Born in Roma um, Edit Perfume. It is in the scent Coral. Is it Coral? Where is it? No, this is the reg. What am I talking about? This is the regular one. This. <laughs> I'm so tired, y'all. This is the Valentino Donna Born in Roma, the regular one, and we all know how that smells. I used up the little sample of it. So, y'all, that is all my empties. That was a long video, y'all. <laughs> Sorry about the cut-ups. My phone was acting up. But thank you for watching, guys. As always, be kind, be humble, and stay blessed. Bye, guys. Chelsea, peace.